Hi, my name is JJ Asgar, and I'm a developer advocate for IBM Cloud. Today, I'm going to be walking you through signing up for something called Code Engine on IBM Cloud. There's been some conversation around how to actually do it, and I want to show you from soup to nuts how to get in there and get your application going. I'll go ahead and log in, uh, sign up for IBM Cloud, then log in, and then be able to show you how to deploy a very simple app to the account. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing first, this is it right here. If you go to ibm.com slash cloud, get code dash engine, you'll notice this website. It's great. We have two different things. We have two log, uh, uh, buttons here. Uh, go to console and explore free tier. Go ahead and click on the go to console button and it'll bring up this nice little uh, login page. If you notice, if you already have an IBM Cloud account, you can go ahead and log in directly and get to Code Engine. But we're going to go ahead and go ahead and sign up from the ground up here to make sure that we actually see what we need to do. I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. There we go. So I'll go ahead and sign up right now. I got to go ahead and put an account in. So I'm going to go ahead and do a new account. So we'll do um, Code Engine at asgarlabs.io, which is a domain I own. And then as you see, there's nothing there, which is great. And then I will go ahead and create a password here. Uh, hopefully you will not be able to see it. So I'll go ahead and log in and then create a new password. Use this one, copy, and then code engine. Labs. Put this inside of a, um, what is it called, a uh, secure location because you want to be have best practices. Go ahead and go ahead and ink, uh, verify my email. And then it's sending an email to me in a second. Uh, hopefully you will, I will be able to spin it, beat up this video, but you can imagine it takes a moment. Here we go. And then we'll grab this right here. Go ahead and log in. My first name is JJ, my last name is Asgar, and I'm in the United States. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and accept the terms. I go ahead and acknowledge everything here. Hit continue. As this is going, uh, I will need to create a Um, I will need to add a email to the, or a credit card. Um, that is due to um, some f issues with fraud. So it's a, it's a standard practice now. There we go, secure my account. So hopefully y'all can't see this here in a second. Um, uh, go ahead and Sorry for the delay here. As I pull up my credit card, I am a personal account. And then what I will do here is I will go ahead and bring up my top secret so you can't fill. I'm basically just going to fill all this information in. Um, and then I'll go ahead and hit next when bring it back. So there we go. Um, asking me now for a credit card. And as long as I'm underneath the free tier, um, you, cannot, you, you will not be charged, which is nice. We just want to make sure that you are a real human with a credit card. Yes. Go ahead and next. And then as you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and create account. And I'll bring my screen back here in just a second. So working processing information. There we go. There we go. And now I'm actually in IBM Cloud, which is pretty neat, right? 
Um, as long as I'm underneath the free tier, I will not have to worry about any of this. But now that we've gotten actually into IBM Cloud, let's go ahead and uh, log in through the command line and then go ahead and deploy something to Code Engine. So the first thing first is I'll go ahead and bring up a terminal. Um, I'm going to be, uh, after this, you'll see as a part two to show transferring something from Heroku to Cloud Engine. That's why you see Heroku to CE right there. But first thing first, I'm gonna actually get Cloud Engine working for me. So I'm gonna go do IBM Cloud login. If you don't have the IBM Cloud login already, um, you can go to the CLI and search for it, or the, um, uh, what's it called? The, um, if you just Google IBM Cloud CLI, uh, you'll be able to come across it pretty easily. And I'm going to go find my new account, which is this one. And I need my password. Log in. I'm authenticating, which is wonderful. And you're coming closer to this here. There we go. Now we're targeted. Um, I'm going to go ahead and update just because it's always good to update. And then I'm going to be walking through um, a nice little tutorial on how to deploy a simple application. Um, go ahead and copy the files in here. There we go. So just to verify that we actually have our plugin for Code Engine, you will need to install a plugin if you don't have it. Um, the IBM Cloud CLI has uh, a plugin architecture, which allows for different things. You actually install what you need. Obviously, I need a new version of IBM Cloud uh, Code Engine here. So I'm installing that, which is good. And then from there, I am going to go ahead and target my, um, my group, which is a resource group. Um, if you have multiple resource groups, now uh, that this is something you have to worry about. But if you've just set up your account, this shouldn't be something you shouldn't need to, but I do. Target-G default, which will give me uh, an error because my default is not there. Um, that's fine. Let's keep going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sample um, project right here. There we go. And it's telling me to resource my... So let's go ahead and target um, default. I don't have a group. Resource group list. Resource group. There we go. Group create default. There we go. So now, if I go ahead and target a default resource group, there we go. So now, with this, I can go ahead and create a sample project, copy. So a project can, well, it call, uh, holds a bunch of different applications inside of it. As you can see, um, and we're going to deploy a simple job, uh, uh, JavaScript app to uh, this project here in just a moment. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and create something called my app. I'm going to go ahead and make the directory, which is going to be my code, and then CD into it. And I'm going to create a vim server per.js. And then I'm going to set paste. I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste a very simple JavaScript uh, web server here. As you can see, it's just one function, and it uh, returns hello world with a, uh, a code of 200, and then listens on port 8080. Port 8080 is the standard port that Code Engine listens to, so that makes life a little bit easier for us. Go ahead and right-click that. And now let's go ahead and build it. Um, from from here. So as you see here, I'm going to go ahead and create an application, call it my app, build it from source, 
from the local directory and then use the build pack. A build pack is basically a standard application pa pack that uh, lets IBM run it for. I strongly suggest, um, it's a, there's a bunch of good sane defaults inside of it, but I would test your application um, inside of Code Engine first before deploying it and telling everyone that you're migrating over or using it, just to make sure that you don't need to add something else to the, the build pack or build your own for that matter. There we go, we're on step one, step two, step three. And as soon as this runs, which should only be a moment, It should give us a nice little uh, URL here at the end and be able to uh, get into uh, our actual application and give us how it world. And then we've done it. We've successfully deployed a JavaScript application to uh, Code Engine. As you can see here, it gives us a nice little application or a, 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 check to a way to check the build run if we wanted to just do this uh, with no wait, where it actually just does it up in the, the background and we can come back and check it if it's a larger application. Um, but just, that's a nice to have. Uh, in this case, it's our application is small enough that we don't have to worry about um, not paying attention to it. And here we go, 90%. 92. All right, now we're waiting for our load balancer to be ready. So that means our application has been successfully built. And now we're just waiting for the background to make sure that we get the routes to it. And what I will do also is I'll show you the website here in a moment uh, to show you it's actually running too on the website. But um, when you get to the more production level um, environments, you're going to be doing main things through the CLI anyway. Um, so that's, that's here. There we go. So we have our application. We click it. And that didn't work out expecting, so let's go ahead and copy this right here. Bring up our terminal, go to that URL, and As that's uh, loading, we'll go ahead and go over to Code Engine here. And we'll go into our projects, as I was saying earlier. Here's our sample project running, created five minutes ago. And as you can see, we have one instance, which is our application running. And we're using um, a total of four megabytes. So if we go into our applications, we'll see our My App running, and it's running with one instance and doing it. We should be able to see our status created three minutes ago, and we have our instances here. So if we go ahead and go back to applications and open that URL. It should come up. You can change a lot of the things around here if you want to change it to different environmental variables, change the amount of instances running at a time too, which is nice. Even run some command line overrides inside of it too. If you check on estimated test here, um, we have we give it four gigabytes of RAM. Um, for this would uh, at the default settings that it has right here it would cost about four dollars and forty cents a month to run. So you can obviously turn that down if you need to, which is fine.
honestly, I don't know why it didn't show up. Um, I'm going to have to debug that, and we'll go from there. But hopefully you learned something. You'll see how easy it is to get up um, Code Engine onto our um, or an application into Code Engine. Uh, you'll be able to create it. Uh, oh, I did not show this. Um, there is a simple command of um, to delete your uh, instance uh, that you have created, which I wanted to make sure you saw how to clean up. So I go ahead and run delete here, and I want to say yes. Go ahead and delete it, and there now it is gone. Um, again, I'm not too 100% sure why that didn't work, uh, but that is fine. You see that um, code is sometimes a little bit more fickle than it should be. But you see the actual interface into Code Engine signing up for the IBM Cloud and actually getting something running on the IBM Cloud is uh, quite straightforward. So I hope you learned something. And um, if you have any questions, uh, never hesitate to reach out. Um, that is my Twitter and that is my email address. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Take it easy, y'all.